America. Hello, Oprah and team. This is Sharon Sappho, 35-year-old public speaker, published author, and I'm interested in being your next own talk show host. I've got four beautiful and brilliant women here today. Each who have heard the word no. And when they hear the word no, that paralyzing word that normally stops you in your tracks and sends you turning back, they turn no around and it's on now. They simply won't take no for an answer. Georgie, come on. Share with us what the word no has done for you. Sharon, I took the word no into an athletic scholarship. I took the word no into a um, education and degree. I took the word no into my own business. All right, so I understand you own a pine straw business, correct? I, I do. After yeah. getting divorced from a successful professional, professional wrestler, wrestler that's right. you had to find a way to stay at home that's right. with your two kids, two I young see, kids. Yes, the age three and six. I wanted to be at home. I wanted to be there for them. I started this company, this business. It's been very successful. When I show up there, they remember who I am, and I get the job. So she started going around, and it's all <laughs> down. <laughs> <laughs> High five, darling. Shante Whitfield is also a successful person in the fashion industry. Shante, come on down. Tell us how you got two businesses and what no has done for you. Well, people told me that I was not going to succeed in life due to the fact that I had a child at an early age. But I proved them wrong. I went to college. I got certified in the hair and makeup. And I'm also a licensed educator. So no has done nothing for me but made it on. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. <laughs> Yolanda Newell, a successful administrative support firm, works for law firms, and no kind of pushed her to it. Tell us what No's done for you, Yolanda. No has inspired the yes in my life. After college and being an officer in the military, I decided to go to law school. After one year of law school, I had to end law school due to failing grades. However, I continue still in the legal field, and I did that by starting my own business, and now I support attorneys, and I charge them by the hour. You get to bill them. I get to bill them. It's all now. Yes, it is. <laughs> Rosa King, a successful pharmacist, triathlon runner, tell us what no does for you. No makes me work harder, makes me push harder. When I graduated from pharmacy school, I had two kids, and when I was told I couldn't run a marathon due to an injury, I proved them wrong. I ran nine marathons since then, and I completed an Ironman. That's what I'm talking about. You go, girl. Right. So what do we say in America? When you hear the word no, you two can turn it around, and it's on oh, now. now. So I'm inviting you as contestants to come on to this show, reality show, talk show, you decide. This has been Sharon Sappho speaking to you on purpose and not by chance. But chances are you'll see me again. Thank you and make it a great day. Vote now.